A radial potentiometer is a potentiometer whose knob spins in a circular manner. A linear potentiometer moves between left and right or up and down on a line. In this video, we will be demonstrating to you how can you use two potentiometers to create an analog joystick to precisely control the amount of thrust on each propeller. When there is a strong wind that is coming from one side, an airplane would fly turbulently by moving sideways through the air. Even if you are flying so slowly on cables, you can still fly erratically because of aerodynamics, which is the properties of air. In order to minimize the flight deviation that is caused by turbulence, pilots would trim the rudder and ailerons to counteract the lateral forces that are destabilizing the airplane. If those secondary flight control surfaces couldn't stabilize the airplane superiorly, they can also send more power to one propeller than the other to turn furthermore against the wind while being tilted. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. First, we should prepare the battery compartment that will house a total of 6 volts using 4 1.5 volt batteries. Those are the four batteries whose voltage is 1.5 volts individually. We should connect this power supply to a switch so that no matter the position of the potentiometer, both propellers will remain off. Once we have connected the power supply to a switch, we will connect the wires to a pair of 5 kilo ohm potentiometers vertically. Then we will connect it to another 5 kilo ohm potentiometer, this time horizontal one. Then we will connect the wires to a pair of portable electric fans, which will be our makeshift propellers for this miniature version of airplane wings. Then we will add a joystick to the horizontal potentiometer so that we will improvise a flight control. In other airplanes, this is a yoke, a broken steering wheel to maneuver the airplane, like in a Boeing 737. We will now test the potentiometer controlled motors. Once we've turned on the potentiometer controlled motors, both propellers will spin at the same speed, while the lights at the wingtips will also illuminate. When you pitch upward by pulling the joystick backwards, both propellers spin faster at the same rate. Because when you fly higher, you require more thrust or forward force. Airplanes fly faster at higher altitudes. Conversely, when you pitch downward, both propellers spin slower. But for now, we're still pitching upward and yawing to the left. The right propeller spins faster than the left one. But when you yaw to the right, it's the left propeller that spins faster than the right one. Now that we've reached the cruising altitude, this is called flying straight forward. Both propellers now spin at the same speed. When an airplane turns left using the propellers, the right one spins faster. But when you turn right through the air, you would have to let your left propeller spin faster. This is called differential thrusting by varying the speed of the left and right propellers. This creates a difference in airspeed 
between the left and right wings. As we near our runway, we would start reaching downward. Minor changes can be made by varying the speed of the propellers slightly, either to the left or to the right, because there might be some crosswind encounters that will destabilize your flight a little bit. And here's the exciting part. What if a pre-team who will fly slowly on cables will be wearing this kind of wings that have propellers near the center and blinking lights at the wingtips? I hope you find this project interesting to create so that the next performance will be more professional.